And it was at that moment that I realized that, okay, wow, I am different. A small comment in such a short period of time can stick with you. Yeah, I was definitely picked on as a kid. Oh yeah, look at me, of course I got picked on. I think you always dream about going back to a situation, especially when it's recent, and being able to say what you really wanted to say to the people that, that hurt you or tormented you. When I was eight, I was on the playground, one of my friends told me I had elf ears, which isn't really even that mean, but it like stuck with me. Our response now would be, ever heard of Legolas? I had to wear leg braces because I was pigeon-toed and I had bow legs. And there was a new student in my class and the first thing out of her mouth that she said when she saw me was that I walk funny, that I walk like a duck. If by duck you meant mighty duck, then you are correct. In fifth grade, I was told that I have fat, wrinkly hands. And I'm not gonna lie, it's, it's a little bit true. Well, you know what, fifth grade bullies? I went to a palm reader in high school and she told me that all the wrinkles on my fat hands mean that I have wise hands. Not fat, wrinkly hands, wise hands. I was wearing this like really red shirt and my sister said, you shouldn't wear red because it brings out your pimples. People would make fun of me for my hair all the time uh, just because it grows up naturally. Put the hate away, love yourself, and leave everybody alone. I've always kind of had a baby face. So it was my first day of middle school in a new school. We're talking about what fake football jersey name you would have. This kid said, hey, on the back of your jersey, it should say little bitch. I came home in tears and said I wanted to go back to my old school. A group of kids would call me chinky eyes. Somehow my eyes equated to being ugly and I didn't quite understand that it was just a, an ethnic difference. I was overweight and I was depressed. There was a certain member of my family that everybody is very afraid of. She just came after me, kept telling me I was fat, kept telling me to lose weight, kept telling me I was fat. I think the best I could do is be above all of it and the worst you can do is believe what they say. Guess I would just say I don't believe you. That stuck with me and has made me not want to feel weak. I ain't no bitch, cause I'm that. <laughs> I do what I want. They might fear you, but I don't. To anyone out there who's being picked on or bullied, you can't change the way others think, but you can control how you think about yourself. When you're younger, you just want to look like everybody else, and when you get older, we all want to look different. There are other people out there who are just like you, who are going through the same things. And sometimes you can take a weakness and turn it into a strength. Just a little bit of wisdom I got from these guys. Boom, mic drop, what's up? You're welcome, internet. That felt great. That, did, that really did.